So you just onboarded someone into Web3, but you want to give them a vault in their hand. And you're actually able to do that with something called a cold storage wallet, which is a vault in the Web3 world. Welcome to Keystone 3, your vault in your pocket. You just opened your first Keystone cold storage wallet and you're looking to get started. I'll do a brief intro and show you how to get started with their website and actually use Nightly on your mobile app. So this is also my first time reviewing this product and seeing it for the first time so you get to see the whole process of my filmmaking and seeing it in live. But it is four inches and it's nice to have a screen compared to a small little thumb drive. For example, like the ledger, which can get lost super easy and it's hard to see what you're actually approving. So I'm really excited to push this video to show you guys how Keystone is taking over the cold storage wallet game. So obviously we need to go to the website. It'll be in the full pamphlet right here when you open the Keystone. So we'll be going to the website of K-E-Y-S-T dot one forward slash start once you've gone to the website click on the power button right here to power this up and start the process Ooh. we're getting started in half we're getting started in, yeah okay so the cool thing is um i was actually sent this a month ago and it still has 20 percent. so let's get into the tutorial so the first thing is you basically just want to choose push next so very simple instructions to get started okay and here this is where it gets big okay choose your language so which language do you speak english for me obviously because i'm speaking english this is the next big thing which i actually like quite a bit about keystone is you're actually able to verify if your device is legitimate and hasn't been tampered with so it says verify your device visit the website to get started, which we are on the website, and we'll actually be able to scan a QR code, which then makes sure that this device is good and nothing's happened with it, which is super nice because sometimes you can buy hardware devices off of Amazon, and actually Amazon sells a lot of Keystone, but for the most part, they wanna give you the satisfaction that this is legitimate and no one's tampered with it. They started as a Bitcoin cold storage wallet and they've actually pushed their way into Solana, Ethereum, and now Sui. Okay, so you're actually able to verify it. It's super simple. They'll bring you through the entire instructions. Obviously, I'm not gonna show the video of this since this is my QR code for my Keystone, but the process has been super cool and there is a camera on the back to scan the QR code to make things even more simple and easy for the user experience. So once you've verified everything on the device, you want to update the firmware just to make sure you're on the right track. So hook it up to your computer and from there you're able to download the latest firmware and get started. Okay, so we just updated the full software and now let's get straight into more fun of finishing the setup and getting connected with Nightly. And first thing it does, it says create new wallet. So we'll just hit create new wallet and we need a minimum of 40% battery life to continue. Son of a biscuit. So once you charge your device at the very beginning, which I highly recommend, um, it will basically be going through the whole process. So it should be pretty simple. You'll hit create new wallet. You will I understand. And this is where you actually set a pin code. So we'll set a pin code really quick. Okay, and you're actually able to name your wallet and you choose which chain you would want to go on. So obviously we're doing SWE, so we'll hit SWE and then we'll call it whatever we want. And it has like a little keyboard, which is actually super cool. So, so far I'm liking the process. Uh, they make it very seamless and easy and very user friendly, which is hard to find for a cold storage wallet. Okay, so I just chose a vault icon for what it will look like in the device itself. And then I called it Suinami, cause you know, Sui's taking over. So there are two different options for basically to secure the device. So you can either do the standard seed phrase option or you can also do the Shamir backup, which is even more encrypted, which I highly suggest. So we'll be going with the Shamir backup to make sure everything is secure so nothing bad will happen to our cold storage wallet. So once you have decided to write down your 24 word seed phrase or Shamira recovery phrase, 
either works. It will basically put you into the application itself and you're actually able to decide which assets or which blockchains you want to use. So the default will be Bitcoin and Ethereum, but we'll mainly be just using this for Bitcoin and SWE. And the cool thing is also with Keystone, you're able to actually have three seed phrases in one device, which is super helpful. So you don't have to buy multiple cold storage wallets. Now, this is where the fun begins and everyone's been waiting. We'll be able to connect this to Nightly with the mobile app, but you're also able to do it on desktop. And they actually just partnered with Sweet or Sweet. I don't know how to fully <laughs> pronounce it, but you're able to now connect with that on desktop. FYI, Sweet does not have a mobile, so be careful and do not get scammed. But we'll be using Nightly for this video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go in the top left-hand corner. Uh, you'll hit new account, and this will be connect hardware wallet. We'll click that bad boy and either you can do a ledger or a keystone. Obviously, we're doing a keystone. When you click that, then you'll actually be scanning your QR code that is generated on the keystone device. OK, so now once that is scanned, you'll choose pass and you'll just click the first option and hit confirm and then hit next and boom right there. We are now on our keystone. So everything is connected and now we can actually use this as a hardware wallet. Okay, so we have just added our wallet successfully to Nightly and we'll try to do a transaction. So if you go to browse, you're actually able to see all the applications that are for Nightly itself. So you can explore the whole SWE ecosystem. Let's try and stake some SWE on SWEland to show how easy it is to have a cold storage wallet and secure assets while also enjoying the benefits of the Sweet ecosystem. So just like I stated, you'll hit browser and then we'll click on Sweetland. It'll pop up with Sweetland. We'll hit launch app. We'll hit connect. We'll hit nightly. And boom, we are already connected to Sweetland. So right now we do have five Sweet in here. So we can just deposit some SWE. We'll click on SWE. How much SWE do we want to deposit? Let's say two. And we'll hit done. And right now we'll be getting 3.8% APR. So once we're on SWEland, we'll hit confirm. And this will say get a signature, but we're actually able to do it with the Keystone wallet. Very simple. In the right hand corner of the device, they'll have a little icon for the camera. You'll bring that out and you will just place it right over the QR code. And on the Keystone wallet, it will actually be showing you what you're signing. Then you'll just hit approve or a swipe and it'll ask for your passcode. So this is really cool because everything is secure and good to go. Now what we'll do is we'll actually hit get signature on the Nightly app. We'll scan the QR code because we signed the transaction and this will be sending and boom. It says finished. OK, so we are in nightly now and we're going to be doing a swap on our Keystone. So first thing we want to do is we want to swap to SWE to deep. We'll confirm. We'll hit swap. OK, once we hit swap, it'll come up with a QR code. Then we'll actually scan it with our Keystone device and then it will load and then it will process it. OK, then it comes up saying this is what you're signing for. We'll swipe to confirm. We'll put in our password. Transaction is signing. Please scan QR code from your software wallet. Then we'll just hit get signature and scan it from nightly. And it is swapping and finished. So you're able to do a lot of fun things with your Keystone wallet along with enjoying the whole sweet ecosystem. I think this is a really cool thing to have and I highly suggest getting a Keystone wallet if you haven't already. They're secure, safe, and user-friendly, and their team is nothing but friendly and very supportive of all people looking to secure assets in the palm of your hand. Well, my name is Trevin, or Trevin vs. NFT, and I will see you in Web3.